What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RimWorld. Now, I have a confession to make. If you've been watching any of my uh, recent uploads, I've mentioned a couple times how I'm thinking about doing an, a, 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 a final wall on the outside of the base. <clears throat> and so one thing that I did before I started recording is get into the game and use the planner to plan out one section of that to get some sort of idea about what I'd be looking at and and just to basically kind of I don't know man give me an idea of how it would kind of look <clears throat> I didn't do anything else I just planned it out and here's basically the result of that I only like I said I only did one section and basically the thought is, is I'm just going to go out basically to where this gate is. And it's, for the most part, it's like that all across the entire base, except for down here. Because I realized, after doing some calculations with this tool that I use in, on my other monitor screen, <clears throat> that I should have put this gate out to right here. So, no big deal. But, in any event... I would basically be looking at creating a slate wall out here. As you can see, the little dots and stuff, or the grids, go all the way up here, and then boom, right there. Now, as I was doing this, one thing I kind of realized is that these stupid tile plan things, markers, it's kind of hard to see in the snow, or at least right there where the fence is. <clears throat> but... Whenever we get through winter here, I think what I'm going to try to do <clears throat> is wait for one of my deep drills to expire so that I can figure out whether it's going to start uh, drilling into a slate because I think I want to make this in slate. It, it'd be really cool to, to build this in granite because I think granite's supposed to be uh, one of the hardest materials in the game. <clears throat> I think plasteel might actually be the absolute best. So there's a part of me that kind of wants to do it in plasteel, but I figure slate will probably be the, the type of material that I'll be able to get the most and in the quickest way. And so anyway, whether it's slate, granite, or plasteel, though, that's where I'm, that's where it's going to start. And I figure what I'll do is I'll... I'll uh, like I said, I'm going to try to get through winter here, see how everything goes. I mean, with this game, <laughs> with this game, there's always some sort of calamity that happens. And why is that still there? Okay, never mind. They just haven't moved it yet. Um, there's always a calamity in this game, you know, knowing me and how my games have always gone after I've loaded them back up. It's probably going to be a conduit explosion here in a bit. But as soon as we get through winter, and as soon as I get the impression that I've got at least two deep drills to provide me with the material that I want, once I decide on the material that I'm going to use, I'm going to start getting work. I'm going to start working on this first section. Get going with that, and we'll just kind of go from there. Let's see this stupid thing? I don't know why that's all the way out there. Oh man. That aside, I hope your guys' weekend is going good. I wanted to play last night, but I was so exhausted and just dead from the week that I just kind of crashed. I didn't really do much last night. I didn't really do much today either, to be honest. I slept in till like freaking 1230. I was bankrupt on rest. But once I got up, man, the only thing I did really was just go over to the grocery store. Get some groceries, come back, watched a, uh, a Trump rally, and I also watched a different kind of rally. It wasn't really a rally, it was more like a town hall by uh, Tulsi Gabbard and RFK Jr., and that was kind of fun to watch. Uh, besides that, though, man, it's just, just been kind of lounging around, hanging out, not trying, trying, to just, yeah, trying to just relax and stuff. Kind of catch up on rest and good food. Got some ice cream waiting on me, so I don't. This this episode is liable to be kind of a short one. 
mint chocolate chip. I wanted to get chocolate, but the freaking grocery store didn't have the, the chocolate that I wanted. So I went with mint chocolate chip. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's you, girl. Okay. So anyway, I think we've got some mining to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. But before I do that, I want to make sure that we're going to be safe here. Oh, a couple of these little things. Uh, that one right there, so I don't think we should need one. And by the way, I've got my fan running behind me, and I also have my radio playing in my kitchen, so if you guys hear that, that's what that is. I'm going to get these built first before I plan out the, the mining. Our little decor room Whatever you even want to call this. I don't I guess we'll just call it the reliquary room for now. Looks pretty ran down. We need to send somebody out there to clean that up. Assuming he'll get it. <clears throat> oh, there we go. They built those pretty quick, didn't they? That's good. I wish I didn't have to tear into this, but thankfully it looks like we'll have enough space for it. It's just going to be kind of awkward. I always get a little apprehensive or nervous whenever I send guys out to mine these areas like this. <clears throat> I mean, you do your best and you assume that these pillars that you make or, or columns that you're making are going to be sufficient or whatever, but sometimes you just never know. <laughs> Did you see that? Is that? That's one of ours, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mrs. Warg has been around for a long time. Or 
Thing's got some eye issues. Wish I could fix that. I don't think you can though. Looking for animals to see if there's anything that we might be able to tame. Doesn't look like it. Oh. Pick up. Oh shit, I guess I didn't get these. Sandra again. Oh, it's one of uh what's who's the mother and father? Cats and Mags, yeah, that's right. Wait a minute, what's this? Maybe I should do that. Should I put I think I want Gabs to be the leader. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, a ceremony for changing social roles. The person changing roles will give a speech while others gather around. The number required for spectators, or the number, the required number of spectators must attend. Interesting. I don't honestly don't know if I just screwed myself over or not, but we're going to do it. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye. This is touching. Hey, look at that. That little asshole. See that? What does that mean? Okay. I guess that's a good thing. I better save it because it probably means my entire colony is about to get killed with an asteroid or something. <laughs> Damn, man. We're going to need a bigger table. Well, once I do this wall and stuff and start building in the, inside the new perimeter and everything, I think we'll be able to fix some of that kind of stuff. It's going to open up a lot of doors, I think. Because think about it, man. If you... Uh, let me see if I can find an area that you, you'll be able to see. I mean, you can kind of see... You can kind of see the boundary here. So it goes like this, I think. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, it is kind of hard to see, isn't it? Well, here. You can kind of see it right here. So imagine this now. Imagine all of the space that I'm going to have access to around the entire place. That's going to be awesome. And I'm going to be able to like build inside of there and stuff. Add more rooms and, you know, who knows what. And after I get the wall built, I'm going to put those uh, slug turrets, two rows, maybe even three, on the outside. So, I mean, it's going to be... I mean, I don't... <laughs> it's probably probably completely unnecessary to have that level of defense, I guess. But you know, I don't I don't like to take chances in this game. At least as far as things like raids and stuff are concerned, because I've 
I've had a colony. It, I've talked about this other colony that I have saved on this game before. It's called the Nation of Wolves. And it's basically a colony that's on a planet that's much more saturated with with civilization uh, and towns and stuff than, than where I am on this planet. And, and in, in, on that colony, that that colony was getting raided all the damn time. And so I kind of had to do that. And I, th I think that experience has given me some sort of, you know, defense PSD type of thing or something. Wait a minute, where are we? Uh, let's see, I'm stopping. Damn it. Yeah, I don't want to see I'm stopping. What's that? Steel. I wonder what would happen if I just install it somewhere. Because I've never tried to do that. Let's try it here, just for giggles. Let's see what happens. I don't know what that'll do. Sandstone. Damn it. Okay. Let's try over here then. I suppose it's going to keep bringing up sandstone. Because one, one that expired, I can't remember where it was. It was somewhere over here. It looked like it was, it, it was, uh, it, the, the new default changed to marble, which I thought was actually kind of cool. Because marble's not really a bad stone to have. I think it's got some, like, decorative properties to it and stuff. Let's see what it does out there. We've got plenty of textiles. That kind of makes me wonder if I should maybe put that over here, like an, an additional textiles location. I think I will. Let's see what we can do here. Let's pause it real quick. It doesn't really matter. I'll make one right here, I guess. And what I want to do is set it up to replicate those. components. Am I st storing stuff like that out there? Oh, yeah, I am. Because of... 
I'm seeing the biofuel now. Yeah, okay. Screw it. <clears throat> we'll roll with it. Those are still somewhat new around here because I just got done, well, those were built in the last episode, so they're still probably in the process of trying to put all that stuff in there, I guess. Those stupid skulls. Wish I could get rid of them. It's just kind of stupid. I don't, I don't really know what to do with those. I think I could probably cremate them, but I, it would mean that I'd have to screw around with this stuff, and I don't really want to mess with it. Imperial weapons and drugs. Well, see, maybe not. I don't know. We had so much, so much medicine. Go all the way up to about 300. That reminds me, I've got some of these things now, or not those. That's this learning assistant. Uh, who should I give one of those to? Maybe Pepper. I think he's got one. So it always makes me a little nervous. I've had situations before where you would do something relatively trivial like this and the person would die. It doesn't happen very often, especially for somebody as high level as Ayla is, but you just never know. Definitely saving it for this. Here we go. Alright, Elo, where are you, bud? Got one more of these to do. Looks like 
Looks like he's taming him up, Muffalo. Like she's okay. I was looking at her thing to see if she was still sulking over her divorce, but it looks like she's moved on from that. So that's definitely good. Uh, Elsh. Let me cue him up. Oh, fuck. It's ag, ag. I was looking for somebody to come in, in here and clean this crap up. Never can remember who, who all was assigned to what. No guys, we are a drug-free zone. So she hadn't been given a schedule. Uh, I think I did that back when she was having problems with the divorce. So I think she's... I think we can change that now. Huskies are night owl. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it's Repka, Kenzo, Omar. Maybe we can use Repka. Okay. Let's add cleaning to Repka. going on down here, though, with these things. I noticed that last episode, and I don't... I'm not really sure what's caused that. The only thing that would make sense is if they can't... Well, no, because it looks like there's a little power line, right? fix that. So, 
Yeah, see, look, that's acting like... Oh, I think I know what's going on here. During the day, I bet those things work, but at night, because they're depending on the solar panel, they're not connected to the main grid. Which is why these things seem to, seem to act like they're working. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, yeah, we need to add this then. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like we got another deep girl here. Slate! Yes! Alright. There we go. That's one. Slate, slate, slate. Now I wonder if... Let me see here. Did they move it? Yeah. Ooh, that's getting marble. Um... Hmm. Could I try to find one that gets granite, you think? I think I'm going to try to do that. Because if we, if we get granite... It would just be better, I think. Uh, what did I click on? Oh, I did it to the hay. I thought I did that to the deep girl. Tell you what, let's let's install it there, and we'll take this other one over here. I mean, marble's cool and all, but I'm gonna try to have these like within proximity to each other be like the official little station area that we'll use to get our resources. Because if all of this is going to be slate, then I'm just going to say screw it and use slate. I don't think slate's flammable. I'm not... I mean, it shouldn't be, right? It's marble. That's... What's this? It's marble. Slate's... Yeah, zero percent. Um, sandstone. What's this made of? Limestone, marble column. Slates. Wanting to look to see if just wanting to do like a comparison of stats. It's more slates. One thing I'm seeing here is that he is not Oski. I mean, it's not uh, smelting. I want him to smelt. So go ahead and suspend these. We've got a lot of metal out there that needs to be smelted. Okay. Smelt, smelt. Okay. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. That's the heat, right? I can't remember. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, granite. Do we have any granite out here? Yeah, there's some. Okay. Let's look at this. Flammability, obviously zero. Uh, beauty is negative 12. Construction speed is 80. So remember that. Negative 12, 80. Max hit points, 170%. I don't understand what that means. But whatever. We'll remember it. So... some of this other stuff here. Um, work to make 130. Because, yeah, that's another thing, too, that we're going to have to remember is that once we get the stone up from the deep drill, we're also going to have to cut it up, you know. 
But let's try to remember this. Let's, uh, so obviously flammability is zero. Okay, negative 1280, 130. Negative 1280, 130. Negative 1280, 130. So they're actually kind of the same. But the max hit points, 130%. As to where with this, it's 170. Ooh. Damn it. I wish I didn't see that. <laughs> I think that means that we're going to wind up trying to use granite. But see, then there's also the, uh, the possibility of using plasteel, too. 280. God. I mean, that's insane. And the f what about flammability? Zero percent? Oh, man. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? I think that's what I'm going to do, man. Okay, let's cancel these. We're, we're doing that. We're making them out of plasteel. i got to figure out where some... Deposits are steel, 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 uranium. Here's plasteel. That one's just about. That one's kind of small. Oh, this one's a new pocket, so we'll go ahead and move that there. I'm gonna go ahead and enable this. I wish I understood what... That's got an X, a big X, and this one has a small X. I'm not sure I understand that. Unless it just means that... Oh, I think I know what it means. Preventing it from being built. Preventing it from being used. I think. Why is he still using this? Plasteel. I think I've got enough where I can I can pull it off. <clears throat> Some diligent effort, you know. be a long time though just for that one section that that we have um, it's gonna take a long time to do it's another plasteel uranium silver There's a shit ton of steel over here. Uranium. Steel. Man, there 
there is so much steel. It's insane. Okay, well, we'll focus on what we got right now. Go from there. relaxing now we need to revisit how we have people scheduled so that I can have some go-to's when I need people to like come out here and pick the stuff up I'm thinking maybe Clara Faye and Abby can serve that role so let's see what they've got Faye Tell you what, Brent, Abby, and Faye, I think, is the word we'll used for that. That'll be kind of a good thing for them. Wait a minute. Who did I say again? <laughs> Faye, Abby, and Brent. Faye. You know, we've kind of lucked out because we haven't had any raids really and we haven't even had any insect infestations which is kind of a big thing whenever you're, you're talking about mining with those deep drills I think because I think I think those things have like a certain percentage that enables those things to come up from the ground I believe so I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen any of that Surprised how well we're doing. Uh oh, what we got here? Actually, should I try to tame that? I don't know, man. It's kind of risky. Six year old female. It'd be kind of cool to have a cougar. Because cougars are, I think, if I remember right, I think they're a little better than lynxes. kind of cool to have some walking around, you know. And we don't need to worry about that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and take it out. <laughs> Actually... This ought to be fun. Buddy. Uh, wait a minute. Is he actually manning it? Set forced target.
See, that's the bad thing about those things. They're they're not very accurate. Or I don't know if there's like a de like a thing that I don't know if it depends on the person that's manning it or if it's just the like the system in general, you know. God damn it, that little asshole's coming back. As soon as Oski gets done smelting the metal fragments in here, I'm going to have him get back to the, the block stuff. <clears throat> and it's getting to be about time to get another bulk trader in. I'm seeing all this stuff that's just all around, man, and what's nuts is that we're actually beginning to fill up some of those, those shelves that we made. I mean, we can always make more shelves, but I just didn't think that we'd start to... I don't know. I don't really know what I was thinking, I guess. I, I knew that they would get filled up at some point, but I didn't think that they would get... I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> game's going to be the end of me. I'm kind of thinking, though, that maybe I should make some more, like, along this wall. Maybe along he along these walls. kind of pisses me off. I had planned those blocks out, or those those planning marks, and it looks like the mining removed it. It's irritating. some of these trees chopped down. I'm kind of 
think maybe I should add the add these areas to the ag detail. I think I'm gonna do that. Cause I bet that's one reason that we never see anybody out here doing that. Plus too, it'll be nice to have some space for them to go out and chop down some trees whenever we need it. This wood is always an issue in this colony for some reason. Or it sometimes is. Not all the time, but sometimes. Well, I'll just do this. There we go. I think it was MIP. Is that right? No, not MIP. Um, Mags. Mags is the gal that needs help with... Yeah, all of that. Problem, though, is that we don't have anything that's not coded for her. That, that is coded for her. And, and or can be. That's a little bit of a pain in the rear. It would be nice if you could, like, uncode these damn things. I don't think... I'm, if you can do that, I don't know how. Is there a thing down here that... Yeah, see, it doesn't say anything. And why should you be able to... I don't understand why you would be allowed to, like, in the game, in terms of its logic, code multiple of these to one person. Like, I accidentally did that one time with Cream, I think it was. Yeah, see, she's got one here and one here. I don't know why I, on earth I did that, but I, it was just a stupid accident. <clears throat> but you shouldn't, like, have to worry about that, I would think, you know? From a gaming, like, from a gaming logic standpoint, it would make sense to assume that if your colonist is already coded to one of these, that they shouldn't be able to code it to another one without at least something saying, hey, you know, cream is coded already to to this one, are you sure you want to code it to this one? You know, there should be something in there that would prevent, help you prevent that. If it get, I guess, I guess the developers assume that the people that are playing this game aren't morons like me. <laughs> so maybe that's, maybe that's their justification. Anyway, I don't know how to do that though. It'd be nice if I could uncode it. I guess. I wonder if, like, reinstalling it would do anything like that. Let's, let's give that a shot. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see what happens. Something like this. Okay. Yeah, fortunately it didn't work. Oh crap. Guess we're just gonna have to demo it then. Actually, what does uninstalling it do? Let's try that. Isn't there like a, a duration where it bio tuner Oh, okay, so in other words, I guess in 21 days it'll it will uh like uncode or decode. How about this one? 56 days. Yeesh. 
Okay, well, we'll just wait it out, I guess. Okay, so what do we got here? Silent Neuroformer. Sing... I, I can't even pronounce that. A sing... something... I can't pronounce it, man. Even if I try, I can't. Named whatever is looking for a safe place to meet with one other whatever where they won't be tracked. Their leader is asking you to host the meeting at Luminous. If you accept to whatever will arrive at whatever or my place from different directions, they will spend several hours discussing their own secret issues before departing. Attack them down. Whatever can be forced to turn one of your own colonists into whatever. Extremely intelligent. They can heal any injury and never suffer from disease or poison. In combat, they can launch deadly spines and heal injured friends. The price is that whatever must consume blood, basically derived from human blood to survive. So they're kind of like vampires, I guess, and they must periodically death rest. They're easily destroyed by fire and slowed down by UV light. <clears throat> so we just need to let them meet, and in turn we'll get a, a Psylink? Yeah, I think I'll do that. But what's this? One member of the group will re-implant their colonists of your choice, thus turning your colonist into one of them. Hmm. Is there any advantage to doing something like that? One member of the group will re-plant their xenogerm. So in other words, I could have two creams or two gabs or something like that. Nah, I think I'll I'll do it, but I'm gonna do it. I think for the side link neuroformer. Yeah. All right, here we go. I don't know what I'm gonna run into by doing this, but we'll give it a shot. I should have saved it before I accepted. It'll be kind of cool though to have a another sidecaster. Psycaster. Look at all of this freaking steel that we have. This is ridiculous. Okay, here we go. These guys better not like expect me to give them a bunch of blood or something. Cause if that shit happens, I'm taking them out. I don't think that's gonna be the case though. I think they're just wanting to talk, I guess. It's kinda weird, but whatever.
like demonic. Weird man. What the hell is that thing? A blood torch? Soon. Yeah, they're basically like vampires, man. It's creepy. Shells. Yeah, I'll take a few of those, I guess. Ching pack. Hey. Yeah, you need those Ching bank things. I don't have any of those, unfortunately. Because otherwise, I'd buy that. These things for again. Big shoulder belts, keeping spare munitions because it allows quick access to bullets, grenades. User needs reducing their weapons range to cool down due to the due to its bulk. It can't be worn under other clo other, other clothing. It doesn't cover the body, so it can be worn happily by nudists. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess the only thing we're getting then in this crate is just the, uh, the charge rifle and uh, whatever the other thing was that I bought up here. Right. Oh, the fire foam things. Go ahead and all that. Stop yawning, man. I think I'm going to end it here as soon as these guys get done doing whatever it is that they're doing. Oh, there was one time, this just kind of, I kind of remembered this happening. Wait, what's this? Oh, so we, we got it, I guess. Is that, yeah, that's it, okay. Cream. What I was about to say is that every once in a while, and I don't think it happens very often, but every once in a while, you, you can sometimes see the traders that come around. They'll, uh... Sometimes they can get into fights. And when they do, if they kill one another or something like that, you can go over and raid their bodies and stuff and get... <laughs> get things, you know? That happened to me once. Uh, let me see here. So, she's clearly gonna need... Okay, 
cool, I guess. So we got another Psycaster, man. Gabs. And cream. Coo, man, coo. And I think it would probably make sense now to have cream get one of those learning assistant things. And maybe a newer calculator. I'll do the learning assistant first, though. I'll do that and then I'll call this episode a wrap. Because I got that ice cream on my mind, man. It sounds pretty good right now. Let's do a save ski poo. There we go. So now, Cream is not only a sidecaster, but now she's also a mechanator, and she's also got the learning assistant. It's pretty badass. One thing I want to do though is get her uh, start reversing her age a bit. Her and and gaps really. Really, everybody. I mean, you know, it only takes what? How long does that take? Age reversal. Uh, where is it? 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 Bio generation. Is that it? No, that's the heal thing. Oh, wait, this one. 6.6 .6 days. So I don't really know what the math is. If I, I've never been good at math. So bear with me here. I'm getting my phone out and I'm looking at some stuff. I'll get a stupid. Popping up. Okay, here we go. Let me see here. Calculate horror. Damn it. I accidentally clicked on the calendar. There's the calculator. Okay. So, I'm assuming it's 365 days in this game for a year. Well, hell, what am I thinking? That's probably not true, is it? How many? I'm gonna have to look that up because now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know how many days constitutes a year in this game. But if it theor theoretically was 365, then it would make sense to do the whole age reversal thing. Because if you divide that by 6.6, .6, that means you could get <laughs> you could you could reverse about 55 years in one in one year. <laughs> That's a hell of a deal, right? be like, uh, what, what's that? Is it Benjamin Button? Or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Everybody running around like children. That'd be crazy. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to call this episode a wrap. We've, uh, I think we actually made more progress than what it might seem, because I'm going to have to kind of go back over this planning stuff, because, like I said, whenever I mined everything out. Apparently it decided to go ahead and remove the, the planning marks that I made, but um, I've got a pretty good idea, though, about how that's going to have to be laid out. And I'm just going to try to do that one section at a time. Like, the first section will be this section, you know? And then after that, we might do this other section. Whatever. But we got that going on. Um, looks like Oski's currently doing the whole smelting stuff. They're clearly using the butcher area, so that's cool. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else worth mentioning? 
We're still making the explosives or the fire foam and those learning assistants. But man, I wish I could get ahead of this stuff just like laying around. I hate that. That's, that's one of my biggest pet peeves whenever I'm doing playing games like this is not having a, a cleanly uh, habitat, you know? So I guess we'll, we'll have to just kind of deal with that in time. But everything, for the most part, though, is looking pretty awesome. Let's see here. Is there any animals? I said those to be hunted, at least. Yeah, I think that about does it. So I'm gonna get off here, watch some reruns. I've been watching uh, 1923 lately for about the fifth or sixth time. I, I love that show, man. All of the the uh, what's that guy's name? Sheridan, something like that. His 1883 was freaking awesome. 1923 is it's just almost just as good. And, of course, Yellowstone. I love Yellowstone. I can't wait for that to start back up. But all of his shows are awesome, man. And that Lioness, too. That that was also a good one. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to get off here, go eat some ice cream and watch that. And hope you guys have a, a good weekend. If I don't, I'm probably going to wind up playing this game again tomorrow. It's usually what I kind of do on Sundays, man. Just kind of dick around the house and maybe go for, for a drive and come back and just kind of hang out. But, um, do that and upload another episode tomorrow. And I guess I'll just see you guys whenever I see you. So anyway, one more save here just to make sure it's completely saved. And I will catch you guys later.